Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Joe Last Tease. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. And at some point in this video, don't forget to share your comments below. Let me know what you think. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to shadow text in Cricut Design Space. Um, if, if you're anything like me, when I first started out, um, all of this was foreign to me. So, yeah, I want to stop by here and show you guys five easy steps so that it will be simple for you when you are using um, shadowing, the shadowing technique in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing you're going to do is select your preferred text. I'll click a project that I've already been working on here. I'm going to customize it and I'll show you because I've already worked ahead on this this project so I'll show you how it looks and um, the internet is going pretty slow tonight we had a bunch of rain here earlier in Houston so yeah the internet is kind of glitchy sorry about that guys thank you for hanging in there with me so here we are in design space I have a project over here to the right, and you will see an eye with a slash through it. This is what I'm working on. They're two different. The shadow is one color, and the text is, a, is another color. So you're going to click text here. I think the text box is underneath my camera. You're going to highlight it and choose your desired text. I'll just choose the one I'm working on. See it change. B. Let's go to system. C H A M. C H A M. There it is. The Chambery headline. And you see the green box, I mean, the, the green line at the top of the text is thinking. So, yeah. Again, we're here in Houston. I don't know what part of the world you guys are in, but it has been extremely hot here. But today was nice. We got a lot of rain, and we need it. We need that rain, especially for vegetation, the, the grass, all of that, and just to cool off a little bit. So it's thinking. Okay. I think that should do it. Come on, be nice. I wasn't having this much trouble earlier. And I'm not going to be on here long. I don't want this video to be too long. So I double click the mouse to highlight it. I'm going to use all caps. I'm, I'm just going to type a simple word, happy. Okay. Go to the top of the, the canvas. You're going to see the offset tool. You're going to click. The drop box is going to come down. Let me move the word over a little bit so you can see what's going on with the offset. So you're going to set your size. You click set your size and by default Cricut will do 0 0.25 inches in the shadowing around the text I'm going to do 0 0.08 I'm gonna, and you hit the apply button there you go and you see it put the offset, the shadow in black, and then the uh, the original text is in a dark gray. So I'm going to change the color of each one. At the top of the canvas, you'll see the word operation, basic cut, and a box next to it. That's the material colors. So I'm going to choose a light pink for the original text. And I'll select the offset, do the same thing, click, click, select the materials color, and the offset will be a darker pink. 
Now, what I like to do, I like to drag, click on the offset, and I'll hover over underneath the line of the offset, and I like to drag it down, and it, it'll give it that, that um, kind of stack, not stack, but raised, raised uh, bottom, because it, um, it just adds a different um, feature, a different, um, um, I guess, a different feel whenever you use it. So what I like to do, I sometimes I use two different techniques. Sometimes I do direct, direct to film. When you, when I'm using the direct to film technique or the met that that method, using light color garments. Yeah, the direct to film it shows up pretty well. But when you're using darker garment, darker colors, I use vinyl. Vinyl just gives it that rich, vibrant color. So I have it how I want it. And remember, I all I did was select the, the offset and I can drag it up or down. Up or down. And in this case, now, what because I will be using vinyl, I'm actually going to do both methods to see which one I like the best because I will be using light colored garments for this. So I'm going to go back to the top of the canvas, select all, and I'm going to use the select, use the slice tool. And the reason I'm using this slice tool is because if I decide to use the vinyl then i would need two separate two separate pieces for the colors so i hit select slice okay and that should take care of that so now what's going to happen i will remove the original text remove this text i i won't need it when i'm using vinyl for this one i'm i'm only going to use the two so what happens with this one is you can easily replace it on top of and the reason i use the slice tool for the vinyl method is is whenever you're using um two colors it tends to, the vinyl tends to get really um, thick and heavy. So when I use the slice tool, it just, it, it, it just works better for me. So you guys, if you've used this, anybody in here or watching this video, if you've seen, um, if you've used this method before, let me know how it worked out for you. And let me know how me showing you this simple five step on how to shadow. So remember, what we did, we select their, your preferred text, click offset, and then you're going to size your offset, change the text color, change the offset color, select the text and offset together, and then click the slice tool. And remember, the reason I use the slice tool is if I'm using vinyl, I, I need one color for the offset and one color for the original text. Now, when I'm doing direct to film, for example, this one, I don't need it because I'll be using powder and film. So I'm going to do I'm going to do both techniques and I may do a video to show you how they both turned out. I'll, I'll come back and show you a video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share, and let me know what you think in the comment if this worked for you or if you have any ideas. Thank you for stopping by. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.